Hello and welcome to the next part in our series on chest x-rays. This is a case you most likely will see in the emergency room, but you might also see it on the department or it might even occur spontaneously. This is a case of pneumothorax. What you can see here is the absence of lung markings here in the lateral spaces of the right lung and the hypertransparency. The lung markings are going here up to this line where you can see that the pleura collapsed. As we mentioned, it can either occur spontaneously or it can occur iatrogenically, for example, when we try to put a central venous axis or try to take a biopsy of some kind of lesion in the lung. A spontaneous pneumothorax occurs most frequently in young, tall patients, more often than not male. And in this case, we can see that the pleura is thickened. This is an indicator that the patient might either have a malignancy, also affecting the pleura. It might be due to acute or also chronic infection, like for example, most commonly asbestosis. Or it can occur after, for example, pleural empyema. What we can also see that here on the right side, there is a consolidation, which could be an infiltrate, it could be also fluid, so pleural effusion trapped here in the interlobium, or it might be a room occupying lesion. So here we want to make a repeated image in a few days to see how this lesion here develops. What we can see is that the mediastinum is here right in the middle, so this pneumothorax does not have a tension component. But if this pneumothorax has a tension component, then the mediastinum will be shifted to the side. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next part of our series.